Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello, welcome back. So today's video is a little bit of an all over the place kind of hodgepodge of a few things that I want to communicate with you. A um, couple of great announcements, some, some awesome opportunities for you. And then at the end of the video, I wanted to share a bit of an experience I had this weekend that was a nice confirmation on my own personal growth path and healing with anxiety that I think will give you a little bit of inspiration or a little bit of maybe clarity or you know reflection on what you might expect as you heal yours. So I'll leave a, a what do you call it, a timestamp here or down below in the description uh, of where you can jump to if you just wanna watch that part and you wanna skip the offer. But honestly, you should not skip the offer because this is a kick-ass offer that I'm offering you. So you wanna watch this next part. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so first things first. Um, I want to make an offer to you guys here. So I'm, I'm, I've am I'm, created a special for new customers. So beginning tomorrow, July 15th, going to August 15th, for the next four weeks, I'm opening a window where you can get coached by me one-on-one -on -one for super affordable rate. So if you've ever thought about doing any sort of integration work, any sort of uh, work on trying to rewire your brain through hypnosis or NLP, uh, if you want to work on your anxiety issues, social anxiety, depression, uh, trauma, uh, let me see what else do I specialize in, uh, habits and, and getting over habits, uh, any of this kind of stuff. If you want to start to rewire your brain, make a shift, make a change in your life for the better, feel better quickly at the end of the session, which is kind of you know, normal for this kind of work, but kind of rare if you go to a normal therapist, if you go to a typical therapy session, you're, or even just like generic life coaching, you're not going to feel different necessarily at the end of that first session. But in the work that we do, the work that I do with you, we're actively working on rewiring your brain. So you feel a difference right away. And uh, sometimes it's subtle, sometimes it's dramatic, uh, but generally speaking, we'll get at some piece of change and I'm offering all of this to you, a, a 90 minute session. So a nice long in-depth session where I have plenty of room to kind of, you know, navigate, kind of figure out what's what, and I can really start to teach you how to rewire your own brain. 90 minutes for $75. It's a smoking deal. Generally speaking, uh, people, you know, in this niche that do what I do, uh, th quite honestly, I don't know anyone who does exactly this niche of hypnotherapy and NLP for integration, but uh, just NLP practitioners, hypnotherapists in general, the low end of this kind of coaching is generally 125 to 150 an hour, which is my rate normally is, is around 150 an hour. So you're getting more than half off here on offer because I want you because I want new clients like you to work with. So if you've been thinking about this, if you've been thinking about, gee, maybe I'd like to get coached by him down the line, or gee, in general, I could use some help with anxiety. I'd like to learn how to rewire my brain. I'd like to explore what it's like to do integration work. And by the way, integration work doesn't have to just be on a fresh, recent trip. You can take a piece, if you can remember from a, a trip you had, you know, six months or a year ago, and you can still integrate that. I, I've done integration on stuff that happened to me in the 90s that I'm still chewing on and then did integration work and brought it deeper into myself and deeper into my life. So if any of this resonates for you, if you want to start transforming, if you want to learn how to rewire your own brain so that you can move forward through your life running what it is that I teach you and helping yourself kind of get over and heal and put whatever behind you needs to be put behind you. Now's your window of opportunity. Um, I only take so many clients at a time, so I would strongly encourage you to get in touch with me soon if you wanna do this, uh, because I, you know, once my books are, are full, then I have to put you on a waiting list and you know, uh, kind of first come, first serve, basically. So for the next month, July 15th to August 15th, you can uh, either DM me here, you can leave a comment below and I'll ch I check the comment section. So uh, assuming I don't get flooded with requests, that'll work and I can contact you or you can email me. My email is also in the description below. Any of these work, hit me up. I'd be happy to make the connection, get to know you better, build more of a relationship with you and help you start to change and transform this stuff because it's, it's my joy, it's my passion. 
I'm all about it. Uh, and I would rather be helping you and, and doing that and building a, a bigger client base than anything else. So hit me up and let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so now that we got the direct marketing portion of the video out of the way here, and you know, by the way, I really mean what I said. This special is 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 a offering to you. I truly believe in this work. I'm passionate about it, and I really do want to share it. Uh, but if for some reason maybe it's too expensive for you, you can't afford it. Uh, you're on the fence. You're not sure if you want to work with me one on one yet, or if you even just want to dig that deep in yourself yet totally understandable. So um, I've also decided that I, I wanted to make a weekly, I've been intending this for a while, and I just decided to finally launch it here, a weekly Zoom call where we kind of all get together and kind of build community and connect. And I teach how to release anxiety. So I'll be doing a weekly Zoom call where I teach one technique, and this will probably go, you know, maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour or something like that, where we just kind of kick it, riff, drop in, and then I teach you some sort of self-regulation technique or tool that I've learned, whether it's you know a polyvagal massage technique or EFT tapping or havening or um, you know coherence breath or an NLP technique or you know uh, self-massage like acupressure, all kinds of stuff. Whatever it takes, I, I will teach you different techniques every month uh, so that you have kind of a a skill set, a tool set, if you will, of different ways to self-regulate and get yourself out of anxiety. I just feel like um, this is an important thing to do just as an offering to the world to just share and support. I know there are a lot of people out there, a lot of my friends, a lot of my family members who are just struggling and, and really need the support. And I have the tools and I care. So it's it's time. That's just how I feel about it. It's time. And um, not only that, but it's, this is a cool way to build community. This is a cool way to connect with other people, meet like-minded people who uh, you know are struggling with similar issues, also interested in similar things like psychedelics and spiritual growth and personal growth and personal development. So um, yeah, so I thought I would kind of just host this community, start to create a container where we can hang out, kind of like a you know a Dharma group would be for meditation, but instead of meditation and you know we might do some meditation techniques along the way but instead of meditation it'll be you know more these kind of hypnosis techniques nlp techniques therapeutic techniques things like this so that's the basic idea if that's something you're interested in if that's something that resonates for you again this is free this is something i'm offering just out you know out of the kindness of my heart because i want to share because i want to connect with you if that's something you're interested in, please just uh, you know contact me. Again, you can leave a, a comment below. You can DM me, or uh, or you can email me, and I'll have my email again below in below in the description. And um, I'd love to see you there. First one will be tomorrow at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Uh, let me see, which I think is 6 p.m. Uh, Western and 9 p.m. Eastern. So if any of that works for you give a holler, get on the call. It's free. You'll feel better. Let's have some fun. All right. Okay. So uh, as promised, I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of a personal life update, anecdote, kind of developmental, you know, kind of in the field, kind of share about what's going on for me and, uh, and how that relates to my growth path with anxiety. So I had a really interesting weekend where, um, unfortunately, I had my car break down and it's going to be a very expensive fix. And I rely on my car for part of my income and uh, I love my car and I live in a very boring small town and I like to be able to get away, get out, have some mobility. And I'm, I'm very independent. I like to drive around to, you know, to run my errands and, and take care of things. So my car is very important in my life. And, uh, I had it break down, you know, kind of midday and it's going to be expensive. And it was a very stressful moment. Now, here's what was cool about that moment when that happened. So a lot of times in the past, if I got kind of triggered, if I got stressed out, something happened to me that was really upsetting like this, generally speaking, what would happen is I would go, um, uh, you know, if you know about fight or flight or freeze, 
I would generally go into freeze mode. And the way my brain was wired up, the way I was raised, the kind of way that the messaging kind of hit me and I learned how to be to navigate stress and difficulty in life. Generally speaking, I would go into stress mode and that stress mode would then cause me to freeze. I would shut down, I would numb out, and I would stay frozen for like a week at least. And generally when I was in freeze mode, I'd be super avoidant, I wouldn't go outside, I would kind of just numb out with entertainment and mindless shit on the internet. Um, probably eat a lot of junk food, sleep a lot, and just try to just turn down the volume on my nervous system because I didn't know how to deal with the stress, with the anxiety. So that's generally in the past what would have happened. But what's cool is that as I've been doing this work on myself, as I've been, you know, applying all these kind of self-regulation tools and learning how to modulate my nervous system and retrain myself to deal with stress and challenge and overwhelm and fear and all these kind of, you know, rough emotions that we go through in life differently. It's like my brain just didn't really go there. So when my car broke down, I had about an hour where I was, you know, upset. I was pissed. I was frustrated. I was stressed out. But it quickly subsided. As soon as I got the car home and, and got it dealt with, it quickly subsided. And what I found is that uh, instead of freezing, instead of you know wanting to just kind of be avoidant and you know switch everything off and just go into kind of moping mode, I just got right in action. I just got relaxed. I stayed present. I stayed focused. My mind stayed clear. I didn't dissociate and kind of numb out out of my body. And I just found myself able to think, able to take action, able to make plans, able to figure out and adapt and uh, stay engaged. And I've been really pleasantly surprised to see that because it didn't take really that much effort for my brain to switch into that gear. It just did it. It just kind of, boom, popped into, okay, we can deal with this. This is fine. We know how to do this. Here's what we do. How do we figure this out? Boom, 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 boom. Just like Right away, I just dropped right into engagement instead of dissociation. And for me, that's a huge, huge breakthrough compared to how I spent, quite honestly, I haven't really shared this on the channel yet, all of my 20s and all of my 30s into my 40s. I'm in my mid-40s now. I spent all that time pretty much triggered, overwhelmed, coping, dissociated. So I know firsthand that it's very possible to spend decades burning the best years of your life, avoiding growth, avoiding engaging life, avoiding solutions, avoiding healing, just because, again, like I said in my last video, the brain is wired up to automatically respond that way. And if we don't address that automatic wiring, it's just gonna continue to be that way. So. Yeah, so I want to share that with you to give you a little bit of inspiration that it is possible to rewire your brain. It is possible to to not numb out or not get overloaded and go into a manic, you know, fight state or flight state, which is also equally common. Uh, and that you can have these experiences where you've kind of trained your nervous system to just resiliently respond by staying calm, by staying centered. Um, and I, I want to keep it real here with you guys too. Uh, that being the case, that is the case, and that is what happened. Um, I, there were a couple things I learned from this experience I want to share with you also, and we'll kind of just wrap with that. Keep it a shorter video here, and that's the video for today. I do have more for you later this week, more con content on the way. We'll be dressing it, uh, addressing, I get all excited and I start getting ahead of myself. Well, we won't be dressing anxiety, we'll be addressing anxiety, uh, and I'll be teaching you some techniques to to shift anxiety. So that'll be later on the week. But I just want to share this with you really quick. So um, I think in my experience that if your goal, if you want to get over anxiety, whether it's social anxiety, general anxiety, uh, situation, you know, specific anxiety, like there's some sort of context where you get anxious and stressed out and overwhelmed and have whatever kind of triggered response that you have, um, the way to think about it isn't that you're getting over anxiety because the, the reality is that it's actually appropriate 
to be anxious in certain situations. It's, you know, me being stressed out about my car breaking down is an appropriate response to a life situation like that. You know, especially uh, given, like I said, that work's been slow. That's an appropriate response, right? So demonizing anxiety or trying to blow it out of the water or just trying to never feel anxiety or, or, or clear it out, I think is kind of the wrong conceptual framework. You want to think of it more like we are developing self-regulation skills, self-regulation tools that become so embedded and so ingrained that you know how to self-regulate. And because you know how to self-regulate it, you stay regulated more often. Now, the end effect of learning how to self-regulate and how to modulate your nervous system and how to kind of shift out of these moments of stress and overwhelm and anxiety, because let's be real, life is you know life does what life's going to do and that means sometimes you're going to feel anxious knowing how to shift out of that you know and being good at that the net effect is that you don't feel anxiety when you're feeling regulated more of the time you don't feel anxiety you feel regulated you feel calm you feel centered you feel in your parasympathetic nervous system instead of your sympathetic nervous system so that is, I think, a clearer target, a clearer goal to aim for in terms of what, what we're up to here. What, you know, the better way to think about getting over anxiety isn't that we're getting over anxiety, it's that we're learning how to self-regulate to the degree that anxiety is a non-issue, basically. So I wanted to kind of share that because that really hit home for me as like, all this work that I've been doing, which is self-regulation work, just one, it taught my brain to boom, just kick into the right gear and the, and the right space much more quickly. But two, uh, it just gave me this confidence like, okay, I'm stressed out. I know what to do about being stressed out. I know what to do about dealing with anxiety. Oh, I have these body symptoms now. Oh, I have, oh, I have cortisol running through me. I know what to do about that. Not a big deal. And then uh, I just put in some, some more effort into self-regulating. And that's the last piece I'm going to leave you here with is the thought that Getting over anxiety and learning how to self-regulate doesn't mean that you won't ever feel anxious, right? Like sometimes shit happens, it's going to be rough, it's going to fucking suck, and you're going to have to deal with, you know, stressful, life is painful, life is difficult, life is overwhelming, life is frightening, life is, and especially right now in the world, let's be real, life is chaotic for all of us, and the world is changing rapidly, and to some degree, it's a sane response to feel anxious with everything going on around us, right? So, and that's not probably likely to change anytime soon. So there's a certain sanity to anxiety, right? But when you, you know, when, when these things happen, when you have these tools, then basically what you start to learn is that, oh, okay, yeah, I got more stressed out. Just, I just put more effort into these tools because I know they work. I know they pay off. And just lean into the tools more. Just, you know, meditate a little bit longer. Just, you know, do a little more polyvagal massage than I normally do. Just whatever it is. Whatever the tool is that works for you. And you'll find it. Uh, especially if you're engaging this work. I'm going to be giving these tools to you. I'll be doing these on these live calls. And, you know, one-on-one -on -one coaching, we'll get right after it really quick. Um you just learn these tools and then you have them and then you just lean in more so that when the stress comes, when the anxiety comes, when the, you know, whatever, the looping thought or the, you know, self-judgment or self-criticism or whatever it is for you, when it comes, you know what to do. You know how to regulate yourself. And lo and behold, it's just not a problem anymore. So I want to share all that with you and just give you a little bit of hope, a little bit of inspiration and, and make these offers to you. So, you know, again, please let me know. If you're interested in coaching, hit me up ASAP. I would love to have you, uh, you know, and make the connection and start to serve you and help you and explore whatever of these tools I have available. Uh, if you are interested in, in the anxiety release sessions and just learning one tool at a time and just kind of dropping in, connecting, having some community, let me know, hit me up, message me, and I will send you the Zoom link. Happy to do so. Uh, and that's it. That's it for this video. Just want to leave it there. So much love to you all. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're feeling healthy, safe, and sound. Uh, and if you're not for any reason, then hit me up and let's do some work on it. All right. So big love to you all. And uh, 
you know, watch this channel. I'll have a new video or two out later this week and uh, more content on the way. I've got some really great stuff on the way. So big love, big respect. Talk to you soon.